Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can easily add Steam achievements to your Unreal Engine games. To get started, you first want to go over to your Unreal Engine project, which you want to add the Steam achievements to, and go over to the plugins, then look for online, and you want to enable the online base plugin, the online framework plugin, the online services plugin, the online subsystem plugin, the online subsystem no plugin, the online subsystem steam plugin, and the online subsystem utilities plugin. You'll probably have to restart your project once you've done that. Once you've done that, head over to Steamworks and download the um, Steamworks SDK. Now I'm gonna leave a link to the documentation just in case you want to um, follow it, but we basically need to add the Steamworks SDK to your Unreal Engine project. So find the version of Unreal Engine that you're using. And then you want to head over to this folder where you installed Unreal Engine. So I coded my game in Unreal Engine version 5.3. And you basically want to um, go over to your project, engine, source, third party, then Steamworks. The documentation will also tell you where to go. Head inside here and then basically extract the Steamworks SDK inside of this folder. And then one more thing, depending on the SDK version, you may just need to go inside here. So right now we can see this is Steam version 153. So if I just open this up, here under the Steam version number, just make sure it's the same as your SDK. Then just close this. And now you should have installed Steamworks to Unreal Engine. Once you've added the Steamworks SDK, if you play your game and go over to standalone game and then play your project, if you press Shift Tab, it should open up Steam and connect to your game. Next, go over to the Unreal Engine project where you want to add the Steam achievements. So for me, that's the project called Horror Bobo. Then you just want to go to the config folder and open up the default engine. And then there are a couple things we want to add. So again, I'm back on the Steam um, documentation. After we basically installed um, the um, Steamworks SDK, we just want to go here, open up your project's default engine.ini and just copy um, this bit and add it. So I added it here. You then just want to copy this bit and also add it somewhere in your default engine.ini I added mine at the bottom here then you also want to copy this for this steam app ID instead of using this you can use this this is the default value but you want to basically change this to um, whatever your steam dev app ID is if you head over to your game you should see the app ID here so you can use that number and again I copied and pasted it there and then finally, you just want to also add this. And I um, added this here. Okay, once you've done that, you're ready to add achievements. Sorry for the blurriness. Um, to add um, Steve achievements, you basically just want to go over to the stats and achievements page on your Steam page, create a new achievement, and then just name it something. So here in the example page, they named their first achievement achieve underscore win underscore one underscore game. So add all of the different achievements in your game. Then you just want to go over to the default engine.ini file and add all of the achievements. And it's important that you add them in order. So the first one needs to be achievement underscore zero underscore ID and then whatever you called it. So if I was using this as an example, um, I called the achievement achievement one my game, but instead it would be called achieve underscore one underscore game. So it'd be called whatever this is. And you need to add all of them and they need to go in order so it needs to go from zero for the first one one for the second one and so on and you need to add all of the achievements at the same time otherwise it won't work okay once you've done that just save it and then to add achievements you want to add the following node where you want to basically trigger the achievement so basically get the player controller call the cache achievement then call the right achievement progress and then here under achievement name make sure it's spelled however you spelled it in steam so i just called my achievement achievement one in order to basically set the achievement, make this one. If you want to ever remove an achievement, just make this minus one. And basically using these nodes, you can add the achievements. And then one more thing, after you've added the achievements, so that they appear in the exported game, just go over to your project, then go over to binaries, Win64, and then add a text called steam underscore app ID, open it up, and then just make this add the app ID of your Steam project. Okay, and once you've done all that, you should have working Steam achievements in your game. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!